when I was just a little lad, I used to go to school. I'd sit down there in the set, feeling like a fool. The teacher told us everything, everything we know. She had the great big look of a stick that was bent into a bow. She'd go in, couple ta, couple two, couple la. And I not, no, no, buckle at all. She'd go in, couple ta, couple two, couple la. Well, Ian Fukulele was a song that I wrote about four or five years ago and I used to sing it as part of my act, the kind of halfway through my show. And uh, I never intended ever to record it, but people would come up to me and say, that's a great Fukul song, you should record it. So I recorded it and uh, the rest is a kind of history, you know. I believe it was banned on the BBC. It was banned on the BBC, yeah. Uh, we were just about to get it played and uh, a producer said he didn't want to take early retirement. <laughs> but it was uh, 44 weeks number one on Spectrum Radio in London. And the reason it was so popular was because it, was, it couldn't be played till after 12 o'clock at night. The past year has been good to Richie Kavna. He won an Irma Award for the best-selling single with Ain Fockel Ella. He travelled to Monte Carlo and to America and established himself as a real performer. But his songwriting skills were first discovered when he was a mere primary school student in Gary Hill in Carlo. We had a school teacher up in Gary Hill School and she always encouraged us to write her own stuff and do little plays and sketches. And from the time up in Tommy Hogan's Haggart here, we used to have a travelling road show years ago. And from the time I seen the comedians up there on the stage, I'd come home and I'd stand up on the kitchen table and I'd be going, that's right, that's the truth. Stay a word, lad, that's right. And I thought I was a comedian back then. I used to love the crack, you know? So I'd say things like, Johnny, what were you like when you were going to school? Oh, when I was going to school, the teacher loved me when I was going to school. How do you know she loved you? Because she was always putting X's on me some copy. And Johnny, what did you do when you left school? Oh, when I left school, I got a job in a bacon factory. I stole a pig and they put me in jail. You stole a pig and they put you in jail, but how did they catch you? Oh, the pig squealed. <laughs> that sort of old stuff. I started off uh, as a double act back in the 70s with a fella called David Chambers. He's a neighbour of mine up the road here. And we used to do a double act. We used to call ourselves Dave and Dick. And I used to talk like Johnny. I'd say, that's right, that's the truth, you see. So anyway, Davey went away and he started managing bands. And one night I was on the stage and I had loads of material in two voices. So my father-in-law, his name was Johnny Canty and he was down in the front row. I looked down at Johnny and I just said, and now I'd like you to meet Johnny. That's right, that's the truth. Stay with her, lad, and face her for Mount Leinster. Hey, go, three, 